also very pleased and privileged to welcome the academic leaders and alumni from other colleges and universities. Um, I, as Wendy, thank you Wendy for the introduction, as Wendy said, uh, since I graduated from uh, Lafayette, to be part of this debate about the future of liberal arts colleges and about the future of higher, uh, higher education in the United States. More positive perceptions of campus social climate. We're so pleased to have you all here. I'm Ed Ahart, the chair of the Lafayette College Board of Trustees, and this special moment is important to all of us. Many of these challenges will be driven by external forces affecting higher education. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I can't even begin to tell you how much of an honor it is for me to be here today and to welcome President Byerly on behalf of our students. Allison? It is my hope that you and your family will find in this special community the friendships, support, and joy that my family did during our years here. And we pledge to you our support in that joint effort. Welcome to Lafayette. In this spirit and leads by example, we celebrate the beginning of that leadership today. And now, by the authority vested in the Board of Trustees by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I declare you fully admitted to the office to which you have been called. I commend to you the welfare of Lafayette College, and with all others here assembled, congratulate you as you enter upon the presidency of this college. Allison, welcome. We're not competing with the past. We're competing with the future. It is precisely Lafayette's history of self-determination and its tradition of embracing change that make me confident that we can succeed in that future. Thank everyone for all their good wishes and support. Have a great time. Woo! 